And this is going to be ball and it's going to be faded into this part. And then from right there, I'm pretty much just going to fade it. And and my seniors all the way open. It's like your masters all the way open. And I have the fat master blade on my masters. So pretty much when I go all the way open, it fades into a number two closed. So this fades into this all the way closed on the seniors. So this open, this closed on the seniors, it will blend in. So pretty much, um, oh, and all the way, this all, all the way closed is gonna fade out uh, the line with the seniors all the way open. So it all blends in perfectly. I mean, seniors, masters, um, a seniors and a regular masters is a perfect combination with a uh, fat master. So it's up to you guys if you guys want to get it. Um, so pretty much when I go halfway on this, it's halfway with your number one. So number one on this halfway is the same thing as a number one on this. Not exactly the same, maybe they're off by like a little bit, but you know, it's just so you guys know, it's almost exactly the same. And um, so let's get to the haircuts. And then pretty much um, as I reach the top, all I'm doing is just picking up my hair. Right, right now I'm just parting it because I like like an undercut kind of look. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but these hairs go this way and so you can see the fade better, I guess. So I'm just, I, I, I just showered and I just left my hair as is. I didn't really do anything to it, so I have to like pick up my hair and do this hold it so I'm just parting it to how I want it and then as I get towards the top all right there you guys can see better so as I'm moving towards the top I actually start um, scooping it out so hopefully you guys can see this Alright, um, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. I do not want to make the video longer. I still got to cut more over here and like pick my hair, my mohawk to the side and cut it. So, so right now I'm just going to get to the fading because that's what is most important to me. So, my detailers, um, like I said, I want to do it bald. So, let me start out by doing the side and then going towards the back. So on the side I just cut off a little bit and then I go with my seniors all the way open and make my second line. Not too high like aligned with this part right here all right like that um i'm not gonna go all the way back with my seniors open because then it gets too complicated for me but um i mean i like it like this it's, it almost looks exactly the same so for now, I'm just going to leave this part like that, and now to move on to the back. And I'm uploading a video right now, that's why you see my my screen, my monitors turned on in the back. Alright, so now for the back. Okay, so pretty much for the mohawk, I just hand up comb my hair to the side and I just follow uh, the tail or the arrow or whatever you want to call it all 
All right, for now, um, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't, I'm not gonna try to perfect it right now. But I just start clean, cleaning up my hair at an angle. And as I'm reaching to the designated spot, um, I start picking up the clipper. Like so. It doesn't have to be perfect, I'm just showing you guys. So now my masters again, I mean my seniors, sorry. My seniors all the way open. And now start making my second deadline. Alright, like that, so this is how it looks like so far, um, and now I'm pretty much just going to start fading in the balds, the bald, the balding I did, the first line, now I'm going to start fading it out, I'm going to go in between halfway and close, so between halfway and close pretty much, that's where I have the, the lever, and that's where I'm going to start fading my hair. Alright, so now pretty much just go, I'm going to be taking it up a little by a little. Like so, now I'm going to go all the way close and just try to fade out that line. It's kind of hard for me to see, but I don't want to get too close because then... Alright, so it's starting to look... Okay, I don't... I don't want to get too close to the mirror because then the camera won't be able to catch my neck. But I'm trying to do my best to show you guys. So now I'm going to go halfway. And... Start fading out this line right here. So just keep taking it a little bit higher and higher. And as you go towards the top, you just lift up the clipper, like you start scooping it out so you won't make another hard line. And as you can see, like it's hardly cutting anything, but every little hair counts. So that's why I'm taking it slow. Unless you want um, not as good as a haircut. I always take my time because I always cut my own hair like at one in the morning. But um, now I'm going to go in between all the way open and halfway. So almost all the way open but not quite. And then just get rid of the last part. Alright. So now pretty much... Um, So now pretty much, let me start fading out um, this part, so I mean, I pretty much just go halfway and start fading out this line that I made balding, and I always pull my skin down, when it comes to like the side of my hair, I always pull my skin down because um, it just helps me blend um, easier I guess, it's, it's smoother for me, so pull my skin down and start fading. And I'm not going to go all the way towards the top because then I'll make another line and it'll be even more bald than how I want it. So now I'm going to close it a little bit in between um, halfway and close. There you guys can see. And I'm just going to keep going a little bit lower until I see that the line is uh, vanishing or disappearing. Um, 
So now I'm going all the way close just for why not just to make it cleaner and I'm probably going to be touching the line and just picking out use a corner all right so now I'm going to go have all the way open on my seniors and start fading out this part I'm not gonna go too low. So now I'm gonna go halfway and go a little bit higher. So now instead of fading from top to bottom, I'm going from bottom to top. So now I'm gonna go halfway and go a little bit higher. Now I'm just gonna close it a little bit more up to right here again between halfway and close. And then just keep tapping on the line. I'm gonna go a little bit higher. Now for me, it's kind of hard to to uh, do this part but I try my best and now to do the rounding right here I pretty much just use this all the way closed and I can already see my point right here and I'm just gonna follow it I mean this is how I do it I don't want it to look like as barbers say I don't want it to look crispy I don't want I don't want this line to be like popping out all crazy I just like it like whatever all right just like that now I'm gonna get my masters it's pretty much like a number one and I'm gonna go halfway and just fade in a little bit more right here Now I'll let it open and just touch it up a little bit lower. All right, like that. So now, so now that this part is done, uh, I'm gonna go halfway on my number one, my masters, my fat masters, whatever. And my dog just fucking scared me. Um, so now my. The second line, I'm pretty much going to do it all the way back here. Alright, so now pretty much I'm going to start doing all around the whole mohawk or the blend, whatever. And then I'm going to do it with my number one, with my Fat Masters halfway. It's your number one um, halfway. It's the same thing. All right, so as I'm doing it, um, pretty much it's just because you guys always comment about how exact I am on describing things. So, so pretty much I'm going in on it at this angle. And then as I reach the top, I kind of start using this part. So I start like scooping it out so I won't make a hard line. Um, so pretty much that's what I'm doing. That's why you kind of see the clipper go really down and when it goes really down it's because I reached the top and I'm pretty much scooping it out and not trying to make another line a harder line to fade out so I pretty much always do that kind of feels like a massage feels pretty good so to do the side I mean I don't really I don't really use a mirror I just kind of just pull down my ear and just do it how I think it is and just so you guys can see as I reach as I reach um, as I reach the top where I want it to be I usually start scooping it out and it kind of starts fading by itself slowly So at this line I did with my seniors all the way open, I push in and as I reach the top, I start, um, I start pulling it out. 
Oh, no, not trying to zoom in. Alright, I guess that's it. I just have to kind of crouch down. But, um, pretty much just do this all around. Just keep scooping it out. I mean, I don't expect... Like, when you start out, do not start out fast, because you will mess up your hair. It kind of takes time. I mean, like, cut your hair every two weeks, that's, so that way you can master your hair, I guess. So you can really know how to start cutting it. Alright, so I guess it came out, it came out good. Now, number two, I mean, your number one. Um, <laughs> I can't even speak. I know, it's, hard, I, it's none of it is scripted. I keep getting comments saying that I don't know how to talk or I don't know how to speak. Um, yeah, I fucking suck at speaking, talking, whatever. Um, I do not have anything written down to know what I'm going to say next. So I do stutter and um, 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 I say that a lot. Um, or uh, 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 whatever. I do say that a lot because I'm trying to think so there won't be any awkward silence. But... I guess uh is annoying so pretty much number one in between halfway and close and start fading out the line you did with your masters or your seniors all the way open so yeah pretty much all I do is go up and then take a step back and fade it out go up take a step back and fade it out that's all I do guys it's not that complicated because once again, people say that my techniques are really complicated, but it's just going a step up and just going back down and fading it. So once again, number one, in between halfway and closed. So now start fading out this line. Once again, I pull my skin down just so my clipper won't be picking up my skin. I feel like I'm gonna fuck up my hair that way. I don't feel comfortable at all. And then pretty much all I do is I see the line, I push in on it hard and I get rid of it. And as I start reaching the top and I start using the lower part of the blade just so I could have more advantage of scooping it out. That's all I do. And there you start seeing the fade. I could use a little bit more, but we're still in the progress. So now I'm going to go all the way closed and just touch it up with a corner. I'm barely even going to do anything to it. Because I do not want to make a, another line. And then when I do stuff with a corner of the blade, I push in really hard. And as I go up, I start like letting, letting, um, I don't as much, I don't put as much pressure. So right now I'm pushing really hard. And then as I go towards the top, then I stop putting as much pressure and I start scooping it out. And there it is. So now time to work on the back. So once again, guys. Um, in between halfway and close on your number one to start fading out the line you did with your seniors okay so go in hard and then just pretty much start scooping it out gently And I'm not reaching all the way towards the top of the of the line because then I do not want to make another line once again. And I always come at it at different angles just because uh, that way I can cut uh, tiny little hairs so I could get more of a print. Precision haircut That's my, my accent Because I'm Hispanic Hispanic, I'm Mexican My accent really Comes out and I can't Say words So yeah guys Maybe that's why you guys Are hating a lot 
I'm not hating, but disliking. I mean, right now I'm just going back again on my on half, my one and a half, and I'm just cleaning it out a little bit more. You can hear it cut hair. Cleaning it out a little bit more. All right, so right now I just kind of um, went back and uh, faded in a little bit more. Um, and I know it's red uh, right here because my skin is so sensitive. So now to fade in this whole dark spot, now I'm gonna get my uh, wall. Bleh. <laughs> Right now I'm gonna get my masters with a fat master blade all the way open. This is your number one all the way open, or your one and one half all the way closed or halfway, whatever you want to use. And pretty much, um, let me do the front <laughs> just because it's easier. Okay, so pretty much now I am gonna fade the top. Get rid of this nasty last line and all the way open remember and pretty much i'm just going to touch the line and that immediately as i start hearing a cut hair i am going to lift up the clipper Alright, I, I do it my own way. I do it really slow just in case. And honestly, I'm just putting like this part of the blade on my head. And all I'm doing is just bringing it back out. So that way I won't make hard lines or bald spots or anything like that. So let me start going towards the back. I can't really see, but I know what I'm doing. I don't have to see pretty much, I could just listen. Because all it is is pretty much as soon as I hear it cut hair, and I, I start pulling it out really slow. The clipper, <laughs> I start pulling out the clipper really slow. And you see, it just fucking fades, holy shit. I honestly didn't think I was doing this much of a great job. So now towards the back. <sighs> now for the back side. All right, for the back, same thing, all the way open. And as soon as I hear it cutting the hair, that's when I start pulling out the clipper. That's when I start pulling out the clipper. Right now I'm just using the corner just to give it uh, more detail, give it more of a fade. Or fade it, fade some specific spots that I see that are kind of dark, kind of dark. And there the fade starts coming out. Right, I'm just using the corner to get some specific spots. And right now the technique I'm using, the corner that is cutting my hair is not touching my head, but the bottom corner is.
And I'm just taking my time. I want to make it right, you know. Kind of squat down so you can see all of it. Alright, so there is my mohawk. Maybe I could use more feeding towards the top. But usually, uh, this side, I comb my hair to my right. Like, usually I put these hairs towards the right. And then I push these back, and I usually just let it fall right here. And, I mean, I, I don't... Every day, I always have a different hairstyle. Whether if it's like this, or everything going to my left, or everything going to my right, or whatever the fuck I just fucking come up with on the spot. Um, whatever I'm feeling. So, there is my fade. And, um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Or it was helpful. Yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment. Whatever you guys want to see next. I have videos on my laptop. I just have to edit them, which takes a while. And I get so lazy, so I don't know when I'll be posting them. But I do have videos, guys. And hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully this video helped out some of you guys trying to cut your own hair or even cutting other people's hair using my techniques that I have found useful. Not my techniques, but it's just things that I come up in the top of my head. Maybe other barbers have already used it. You've heard other barbers use it or do it, whatever. But I just, as I cut my own hair or other people's hair, I just try new things. And I mean, if they work out, then I keep doing it. But yeah, guys, like this video. If you are new to my channel, subscribe. Well, I just got cut off my camera. But I will be posting um, gaming videos soon, as you can see, I already have my setup back there. I have three monitors, I got my Xbox, my laptop. I'm just waiting for my mic so I could have clear audio on my um, gaming videos because I do not want to be using a piece of shit mic. So I'm just waiting on my uh, mic to get here so I can start uh, bringing video games, video, yeah game videos I don't fucking know and hopefully you guys find that entertaining and support me on that too as much as as much <laughs> as much as you guys have found um, my haircut tutorials entertaining or useful or whatever hopefully you guys can um, bring that spirit I guess to my gaming videos and my vlogs um, yeah guys comment below what you guys want to see as in Haircuts, as in vlogging.